Welcome to Operation Research. This video contains the reflection spot. So, it is recommended that you please keep ready your pen and paper and whenever certain activity is given, perform the activity by pausing your video. The topic level objective for today's video are at the end of this topic, you should be able to understand the terminology used in linear programming problem. Identify the characteristics of linear programming problem. Make a graphical analysis of linear programming problem that is LPP. Solve the problem graphically and identify the various types of solutions. Before we start with the actual problem, whenever we wish to solve any LPP problem, we must know the following terminology. The first one is decision variables, objective function, constraint, non-negativity constraint, feasible solution, infeasible solution, and optimum solution. So let us understand these terms with the help of an example and we will solve that example also. Here is an example. An airline offers first class and coach tickets. For the airline to be profitable, it must sell minimum 25 first class tickets and minimum 40 coach tickets. The company makes profit of 200 for each first class ticket and 225 for each coach ticket. At most, the plane has a capacity of 150 travelers. How many of each ticket should be sold in order to maximize the profit? Now here is a question for you. Read the problem twice carefully and try to answer some of these questions. In this problem, what is to be decided? What is the objective of this problem? And what are the limitations that are mentioned in the problem? So pause the video and just think about this. I hope you must have given a thought to the problems. Now let us see what is to be decided. If you read the problem carefully, we will come to know that we need to decide number of first class tickets and number of coach tickets to be sold in order to, in order to make the maximum profit. So let us say X be the number of first class tickets and Y be the number of coach tickets. These quantities we have to decide. Right? Then. The next question is what is the objective of this problem? The objective of problem is to maximize the profit. So we have to decide the quantity X and Y so as to maximize the profit. What are the limitations mentioned in the problem? The limitation is that it must sell minimum 25 first class tickets and 40 number of coach tickets. This is the one constraint that has been mentioned and a plane has a capacity of 150 travelers which is the another constraint that is being mentioned in the problem. So let us construct the LPP model out of this problem. So X and Y will be your decision variables and we need to decide the quantity of these two to maximize the profit and that is given by 200x plus 225y. So what is this 200? 200 is the profit made by selling one first class ticket and x is the number of first class tickets whereas 225 is the profit made by selling one coach ticket and y is the number of coach tickets. So this becomes my objective function and which is subjected to the constraint. So as we have seen that there are three constraints. The one is that the first class ticket should be greater than 25. Coach ticket should be number of coach ticket should be more than 40 and the total plane capacity is 150. So these are the three constraint. What is a non-negativity constraint? As number of tickets cannot have a negative value it should be either 0 or greater than 0 so that becomes our non-negativity constraint 
with this let us try to solve this problem graphically for which we need to convert inequalities into equations so these are the three inequalities constraint that we need to convert into some equalities so this becomes x is equal to 25 y is equal to 40 and x plus y is equal to 150 let us plot these lines on a graph paper so if i plot this first line x is equal to 25 it will be nothing but a straight line right now i have shown two portions this is one shaded portion or color portion and this is the non-colored portion so this is my equation of line that is x should be yes, x is equal to 25 and this is the feasible region for this constraint so what is mean by feasible region if i select any point somewhere here it will not satisfy this constraint that is x is equal to greater than or equal to 25 right but any point on this side will definitely satisfy the constraint so for this constraint this all this becomes a feasible region and this becomes the infeasible region now we need to identify the feasible region for all three constraints so let us plot the second line so second line is given by x y is equal to 40 if i plot this line this will be nothing but a horizontal line and for this constraint this area becomes the feasible region and this becomes the infeasible region let us plot the third line so the third constraint is x plus y should be equal to 150 now how do you plot this line on the graph so to find the vertical intercept we let x is equal to 0 and that will give me the value of y is equal to 150 and to get the horizontal intercept i put y is equal to 0 so i got x is equal to 150 so i can plot these two points that is 0 150 and 150 0 on a graph and that will give me this line now we have plotted all the three lines on this graph the next point is to get the inter intersections for these lines now if we consider this line x is equal to 25 and x plus y is equal to 150 right so these two lines are intersecting at this point and i will get this point a so if i put value is equal to x 25 x is equal to 25 in the in this line equation i will get this vertices now let us look at the second vertices so this is very straightforward at this point b these two lines that is x is equal to 25 and y is equal to 40 these two lines are intersecting so i get this vertices for this point b and point c is nothing but it is at the intersection of line y is equal to 40 and x plus y is equal to 150 so if i put the value of y is equal to 40 in this line equation i will get the vertices for this point c now what are the three constraint so these three constraint says that anything between these points a b c is my feasible region right so the this is the triangle which is bounded by three lines that gives me the feasible region <clears throat> so any point between these three lines will provide me the feasible solution and that will that will satisfy all three constraint and any point outside these three lines will not satisfy any one or two constraint and that will be an infeasible region so i must go for feasible region in order to get the optimum solution now what is meant by feasible solution feasible solution means which satisfies the constraint and what is optimum solution optimum solution is the one among various feasible solutions that provides me the maximum profit now actually we don't need to 
count for each and every point right it is well known that the optimum solution lies between the vertices so if we count for point a point b and point c we will get one optimum solution so what is my objective function objective function is to maximize 200x plus 225y where 200 is the profit by selling one ticket and 225 is the profit by selling the one ticket now if i put these three points hmm, values of vertices for this three point in this equation right hmm, i will get these three values so if you look at the three different values point a is giving me the maximum value and point b and point c are not giving the maximum value so we can say that all the points a b c gives the feasible solution right but only point a gives the optimum solution so the point a maximizes the profit therefore we conclude that the airline should sell 125 that is this 125 as coach tickets and 25 first class tickets in order to maximize the profit and that maximum profit is given by this value thank you